Mag. Uh, we're going to do a quick look of the Kershaw Brawler 1990. Oh yeah, look at that blade. I like that knife. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, go over the specs, the price point, the nice fit and feel, uh, the primary and secondary composites use, and out of box sharpness and final thoughts. Okay. This is the Kershaw Brawler. Let's take a good look at that knife. Uh, it looks good in my hand. Okay. Uh, the steel on this knife is a 8CR13 MOV. Again, it's a Chinese steel. Uh, it's tempered to RC56 to 58. Again, it's often compared to the OS8, but with slightly more carbon. The handle on this is a glass filled nylon. The blade length is 3 inches. The overall length is 7 and 8. And the close length would be 4 and 1 8 inches. The overall weight of this knife is a nice 3.9 ounces, so it's not too heavy, but it's not too light. It's a flipper and a thud st thumb stud opening. And of course it's got the Kershaw Speed Safe Assist. It's a locking liner, so it locks up with the liner, which you can see here. Gets in there pretty safe, pretty good. Uh, the pocket clip on this is four-way pocket clip, so you can go so you got two on the one side and two on the other. So this is a very diverse knife. So it's a tip up, tip down, both right and left. So that gives you a lot of diversity in the knife. Again, the type of blade on this, if you look at that again, it's, it's, it's a tanto type. But if you look at it real closely, you'll see the swedge on the top, which gives it a nice uh, appealing look. So. Again, I kind of like that look. The finish on this is a black oxide coating. The ground is a hollow ground. As far as blade play goes, there's no blade play in this all. As far as the lockup goes, again, look at that how solid that is so there will be no retention problems. Now let's check out the blade centering. So. Get in here real quick, and you can see it's centered right at about 50%. So that's really good centering. As far as the fit and feel and ergonomics, again, it really, in my hand, as you can see, I've got a medium sized hand, it just fits it right about to the end. It's got a nice troil, it keeps your finger in there, and it's got some good jimping on it. It's not the best, but it's, you know, right on the blade, it's pretty good but here it's not quite as good as it can be uh, again you got the glass filled nylon scales but there is some texturing on there so that helps with the grip of the hand and again I'd say the grip in the hand is pretty good so the way I see this knife again it's got the nice tanto tip very pointed at the end for penetration it'll be good for slicing Nice belly for cutting on the uh, swinging. Uh, got good, good jimping on it. I think this primary constant of use on this is going to be the tactile and combat. And the way I look at this knife, again, that's what it's really designed for. And as far as an ECD blade, general purpose, I really wouldn't consider that's with you know that's really not this is not really designed for that there's much better uh, general EDC blades so I wouldn't really think that's a secondary I mean it would be at a stretch but it's really designed to be and is really a tactical and combat knife uh, okay this let's see how it cuts the paper again right out of the box that's very sharp 
And let's see if we can get us a little look at that. It's doing a real good. Yeah, I really like the sharpness of this blade. All like, just like all the Kershaws at this size, they do a really good job at getting the blade sharp. Okay, my final thoughts on this. Uh, it makes a real good EDC uh, tactical concept to use. It's got good steel on it. It's not the greatest. Uh, out of the box, it comes very sh uh, sharp. Uh, would I buy it again? Absolutely. This is a really nice looking knife to begin with. You know that's important. And I think that as far as a folding, tactical, everyday carry blade, this is going to be a very good knife for that. I don't think you need to spend a lot more money. Uh, one thing is again, this uh, the price point on this right now is about $26 on eBay. So, what I'd like to do is thank you for your time. Have a great day. And remember, long live rock and roll and the American dream. And I don't think you'll be dissatisfied with this. Thank you.